Who are you in this life? Who are you going to be after this life? I want you to know that uh, there is life after this life. You need to know this before it is too late. Don't just work for today. Work for tomorrow as well. What is life here on earth? What is the purpose of life in the flesh? Is it to marry and bear children? Is it to be a manager, a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, a police officer? He came to let you know that life is not here. Life is there. So whatever you are doing here on earth should not mislead you that to be like the way you are now in this life, even after this life. No. He came to let you know this. That here you appeared as a human being. Here you can marry. Here you can bear children. But after this life, when you leave this body, you are not going to appear the same way you appeared as a human being here on earth. Anything that you are doing here should not mislead you. After this life, you are not going to be a manager there. I say after this life, you are not going to be a lawyer there in heaven. Who are you going to represent? If you say after this life, there will be a police officer in heaven, you are badly mistaken. If you say after this one, I'm going to run a company in heaven, from where? So whatever you are doing, if you are a judge in heaven, you are not going to be a judge. Whatever you are doing here, a position that you are holding, you are running a very big company, you are a father of 10 children, those things should not mislead your life. There is life after this one. Who are you going to be there in heaven? Are you going to be a teacher? Are you going to be a member of parliament? Are you going to be a minister? Are you going to be a president? You'll be like an angel. This is why the life that you are living today must support your tomorrow. Whatever you are doing today must support your next week. Because everything that you see as a human being will not be there in heaven. Why do you want to lose your salvation because of marriage? Why do you want to lose your salvation because of children? In heaven there's no marriage, there's no children. You'll be a spirit there. Think about the life there after this one. Who are you going to be? Do you prepare yourself to be like an angel in heaven, the life that you are living? Are you sure of what you are doing that you'll be like an angel? Have you prepared your heart to be like that? Look at your activities. Look at your language. Look at the type of friends that surround your life. Are you going to be an angel in that life? You have how many prods? You have how many houses here on earth? How much money is in your account? Why are you keeping that money? It's because of your tomorrow here on earth. What about in heaven? What have you done for that journey? What have you done for your life there in heaven? Ask yourself inside your heart. Don't just sit inside the church and say that, oh, as long as I'm here on Sunday, then no, you must be sure that after this life, I'll be like an angel. By what? By the Spirit of God inside you.